Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, I got just a little quick one for you today. If you remember a few weeks ago, I was playing around with this EcoFlow Pro. Now, it's basically what they call a solar generator, and it has batteries inside, and it can be recharged with solar. These are kind of expensive, and they're not that powerful. So, I wanted to do a little experimenting so you might ask yourself, Crazy Postman, why are you showing us a picture of a box? Well, you can build things yourself, little DIY projects, and you usually get more bang for your buck. What you're looking at here is 600 watts of AC power and 740 watt hours of storage. What you're looking at down here is... 2,000 watts of AC power and 2,400 watt hours of storage and this is cheaper so let me show you what I did here now keep in mind that this isn't finished yet I'm going to probably over here on this side maybe in this area uh, install a you know a pretty good size fan and maybe on the other side as well let me show you what I got going on in here so here is my project I got two power queen 100 amp hour batteries so at 12.8 volts that's around 1200 watt hours or 1.2 kilowatt hours so putting these both together is about 2400 watt hours at 12.8 volts over here I got an El Cheapo um, 2000 watt power inverter now this is not a pure sine wave inverter I uh, it's just something I already had so I may actually go buy a better inverter just so I don't have any problems so here it is you got your power outlets there on front this whole thing is set up to be pretty portable uh, I got these batteries sitting in a little styrofoam so they don't waddle around that much they're not really anchored down but they fit in there pretty snug I got styrofoam all around it and nothing's gonna be moving pretty much and this is just sitting on a, a styrofoam block so it doesn't sink all the way to the bottom I do have uh, 1,000 watts of solar on my roof. Now I know that's not very much solar, but you know, it's just what I did. And I have 200 watts of solar that's portable. So I haven't decided how I'm going to charge this yet. If I'm going to hook it up to the roof or just uh, charge it with the portable panels whenever I need to. But it's set up so red to red. So that means our voltage stays the same, but the amperage doubles. Now had you have hooked it up red to black, that would have doubled the voltage, but left the amp hours the same. So we want a 12 volt system, so we go red to red. Now the best way to do this is to put your load, one of the legs on one of the positives, and the other one on the negative of the other battery it's not a big deal if I would have put them both on this one but it would have just wore down this battery faster because it would have been doing more of the work so it's it's better to separate them like that and this uh, box here it does have let me get this button back up well now this box here does have some little wheels down here so I can kind of pull it around easy now of course the first test I'm gonna do with this box is I'm gonna try to charge my car if you remember I tried to charge my car on this guy over here and it didn't work so well <laughs> uh, it was overpowering it because this can only put out 600 watts and the car charger definitely wanted to pull more watts than that so we're gonna try it on this and that will be on a later episode not today 
Well, thanks for watching this quick video of uh, my experimentations here. I'm sure I'll make a few videos in the future. Of course, one playing around trying to charge the car. And um, maybe I'll make a video show you how I'm going to charge this thing with the solar panels and uh, maybe some other various things. But thanks for watching, and I will see y'all on the next one.